Today, I have so many new items, a winner, and another giveaway to share. What is up, you guys? Happy Tuesday, or in other words, happy grocery haul day. My name is Kira, if you are new, and in today's video, I am back to share with you, as long as life allows, what I share every single Tuesday here on the channel, and that is my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Now, this week I went to Trader Joe's, and the new items were just exploding off the shelves. So, I have so many new things to share with you, and a giveaway winner, so if you are new here, uh, every single week I have you guys pick in the comments what you think one item that I share in this grocery haul was picked by my husband and then the following week I draw a winner and I get to give that winner a gift card so today I'm pulling for last week and last week Daryl's mystery item was the Utz potato sticks so many of you guessed that one right I guess it was a little obvious just because it was kind of obscure we've never ever gotten those before but it just kind of popped into his head that it was something that he wanted and we decided to use that for a recipe this coming up week so I'm really excited to give that a try and the winner is Angela's Melting Moments so I love that name and you are the winner so make sure to reach out to me my email is in the description box send me an email and I will get you a gift card out right away so for the rest of you guys make your pick for this week in the comments below Otherwise, I'm going to take you down to the counter and I'll share with you what I spent roughly about $180 on in Trader Joe's. And this week, you guys are also getting a bonus grocery haul on Friday from Walmart. So let's get into it. So many awesome things to share. All right, you guys, here is what $180 gets you at Trader Joe's. But I did get a lot of meat and cheese. So that's where a big bulk of the money is and I got a lot of special produce but we will dive right in I picked up two mangoes I need that for a recipe and I did get the mixed medley organic cherry tomatoes we really like these and I usually snag them when I go hooray the plum cots are out and now I just need my apriums and I will be set. Now, a bunch of you guys asked me when I mentioned last time what a plum cot was or an aprium. So they are crossbreed fruits. A lot of other grocery stores carry them, but I know that Trader Joe's, it's a big thing for them during this season. So a plum cot is a plum that's bred with an apricot, but it's more plum than apricot, but it has a apricot undertone. An aprium is an apricot that's been bred with a plum so it's more of an apricot with the plum undertone and they're just really really yummy delicious fruit but they're super seasonal so i love to snag them when i see them out as well as the saturn peaches this is peach season but the last set of peaches that i got from trader joe's they did not last long at all like we didn't even get a chance to eat them before they all went bad so i like the saturn peaches because it's a specialty item but there's only four in there so they'll definitely get eaten before that they go bad there'll be no waste and they're delicious so if you ever see a saturn peach snag them up i grabbed a bag of limes i need that to make a really special recipe that i'm sharing with you guys actually it goes with the mangoes so so good i uh, got some organic broccoli florets for a dinner and for some snacking and then i did grab some chips because you guys they had a lot of their summer seasonal items still out and that was a shock to me and next month I won't go because I'll be at my mom's and then the following month when I come back they'll already be prepping for pumpkin season so I grabbed a couple of extra summer items that I know I won't be able to grab the next time that I go so I did get another bag of the Trader Joe's chips in a pickle dill pickle flavored potato chips both my daughter and I absolutely love them and they still have the popcorn but we have a bunch of that 
especially since I got that popcorn and ranch popcorn from Sam's Club. So I held off on the popcorn, but I did snag the chips. And then I got another bag of the Trader Joe's patio potato chips. You guys flooded the comments with how good that these are and that they were out last year. I never grabbed them last year. I never even saw them. So to see them twice, I had to scoop them up. So it's a mixed bag of sea salt and vinegar, delicious dill, homestyle ketchup, and sweet barbecue. And the only way I get ketchup chips is if Vanessa sends them to me from Canada. So I love that we can get a little ketchup love and those patio chips. And then of course, I got the white cheddar corn puffs. All right, if you hear noise, Oliver has discovered a paper bag this time. Normally he loves the plastic bags I bring home from Walmart, but that he is having a blast with the paper bag. So I apologize if you hear him in the background, but I'm not going to interrupt him. He is truly enjoying himself. All right, I got some of the Persian cucumbers and this was like a nice bushel. I need that for a bunch of recipes, plus Maya and I like to snack on them. We did have one go bad though with Jake not home, so I'm definitely missing my veggie eating boy because he helps to make sure that none of the veggies go to waste. I grabbed a thing of the tomato paste. This comes in a squeezable tube, which I love that because sometimes you only just need a little bit of paste. So I love the tube for that. And then I grabbed some of the Trader Joe's honey roasted peanuts. I need it for a recipe, but I need just a tiny bit. This was the smallest bag that they had, but I know that we all love our peanuts. So we'll probably enjoy finishing those off. I got some of the Trader Joe's graham cracker swears. They were a little pricier than getting like a regular graham cracker from Walmart or something, but these look a little nicer and hardier. And I was looking for the cinnamon and sugar pita chips. I needed them for a recipe actually also to go with the mangoes and the limes. And they didn't have any. They said they discontinued the one that they had. So I'm gonna try these graham cracker squares instead of the cinnamon and sugar chips. It's not exactly the same, but I'll see when I open them because they look fancier than a regular graham cracker. So I figured we can use those for s'mores and for my recipe. And then I did just grab no like bars, cereal bars or anything this time. I just grabbed the PB&J snack duo. It's the crispy peanut butter filled wafer sticks with a raspberry fruit dip. And both of my kids love that. Uh, I got the Trader Joe's organic virgin coconut oil. We're almost running out of coconut oil to make the dog food. Food, although now down to just one dog I think I may have to revamp how I do dog food because it's just gonna last so much longer and it'll be too much like I'll have to freeze so much more and portion it um, but I also need this for a recipe so I grabbed that and then they were putting this out on display in the veggie section and they said it's like a big deal it's their aceto i'm not even going to try pronouncing that i don't even know if that's italian or spat i don't even know i can't read it but it's supposed to be a oh product of italy so great good italian here and you can't even read it um it's a really good balsamic vinegar and i don't have a balsamic vinegar right now so i grabbed that and i even grabbed the balsamic glaze because when our refrigerator went bad this is one of the things that was kind of weird so i tossed it and i never replaced it so whole bunch of balsamic and cotton candy grapes, they are back in season. They're a little expensive, but my kids love them. And these are the organic ones. So as soon as I'm done filming this, I'm going to wash them up because I know the kids are going to love them. I got some of the Trader Joe's sweet red cherries. Ever since I got the cherry picker, uh, let me see. Yeah, here it is. It pits the cherries for you. It puts one, two, three, four, five, six at a time and this thing is amazing i have it linked in my amazon store down below if you guys want to check it out but this thing is really inexpensive and it is a lifesaver when it comes to doing the cherries and if you spend a little bit of time taking the pits out it's perfect when they're nice cold out of the refrigerator and they're already pitted for you so grab some of the sweet red cherries got the rainer ones last time almost bought both but just the red and then got some of the campari tomatoes i think i've mentioned before i can't get them on the curbside pickup at walmart anymore so when i see them in store and i'm in store i grab them so i got those and i got some mint that's going to be for a recipe that i'm sharing with you guys also uh pasta i had no 
pasta in my pantry. What kind of Italian am I? So I got the Farfalli, the Facilli, and then the Penny Rigotti, and all three of these are 99 cents each, and I love the Trader Joe's pasta. And then I did get a can of the solid white albacore tuna just to make sandwiches. And then I need this to make a, oh, you guys, I have so many good recipes coming up to share with you. And one of the things that I'm making, okay, I'll give you a little hint. I'm making Bloody Mary shrimp skewers. Don't ask, but if you like cold, like appetizer kind of shrimp and you enjoy the flavor of a Bloody Mary, it's almost like a really yummy skewer and then the Bloody Mary is going to be thicker, like something you would dunk into like a cocktail sauce. It's delicious and I need this for that, but it is so good. So stay tuned. I got a can of organic black beans. I need that for tonight's dinner. I'm making Aztec chicken in the crock pot. So delicious, quick and yummy. One box of the organic frosted toaster pastries in strawberry, so essentially Pop-Tarts for my little kids. And then I got the Blue Diamond Almond Breeze unsweetened original almond milk. I need a quarter cup for a recipe but i'm just going to bring the rest to the lake for Paige. uh i already called v and said hey i got your daughter's almond milk covered because i need a quarter cup and it's a huge container so i'm gonna bring that for her but i picked that up for a recipe and then i got the organic kosher dill pickle spears maya loves herself some pickles so she'll be happy to see that and jake's not home so she gets the entire jar so she will be ecstatic and then i got the trader joe's tomato ketchup with black summer truffle so i got this last time i'm the only one in my house who would dare to try it although everyone's a ketchup lover but they didn't want to try like the fancy ketchup they want me to squeeze it out of the bottle and shame on them because this is so good it's like ketchup kind of met cocktail sauce but didn't i don't know it was so good and i made homemade onion rings and put this with it so amazing and when the lady rang me up she said oh we still have this i said yeah you have a bunch on the end cap over there she said well i'm glad you grabbed it because once those ones go there will be no more so no surprise there glad i could grab that because that's going to be mama's little ketchup indulgence and then i got the everything ciabatta rolls i have an idea for that stay tuned for the end of the counter so four pack of those can't remember the last time i bought a bottle of drink from Trader Joe's like probably years ago when I bought the wassail or during Christmas time and it was awful I have not I just don't buy beverages from Trader Joe's for some reason but this just spoke to me I love pink lemonade and it's that summer season june just makes me think like country time lemonade as a kid on the back porch just got out of the pool kind of thing so i saw the low calorie pink lemonade and i thought i would go ahead and give that a try out of olive oil and i just passed it right by in costco on my list and everything and i didn't get it so i just grabbed it from trader joe's almost grabbed it from walmart because it was a little bit cheaper but i like this one and i haven't had it in a long time so i just grabbed that not the best cost effective but we gotta do what we gotta do all right just one last pasta thing and it's the like tri-colored one and it says tri-colored but it's way more than just three colors but it's a really pretty like tight corkscrew kind of pasta in reds and greens and oranges and yellows and whites and i love pasta salad so i thought this would be really good to make something for fourth of july with this so pretty excited about that and then here are the marshmallows to go with the graham crackers we already have chocolate left over from maya and jake's birthday party so we will be doing s'mores with hubby's new fire pit and besides flowers, the only um, like non-food item that I got was this candle. This says peach black tea. I'm not sure if this is the one they had last month, but when I went last month, I had gone pretty quickly, like two times really close together, and I don't normally do that. So the candle they had, I thought was the one I already had, but it wasn't. I'm not sure if it was this one, but can you smell it? Just go ahead and take a whiff of the peach black tea because it just smells like peach snapple i it's so stinking good and the juicy pink grapefruit that i got 
not last time because that's when I thought I already had this one that they had uh, but the time before I got the juicy grapefruit and I just bought one from Bath and Body Works just because the one from Trader Joe's was probably the best candle I had ever smelt and I'm not a grapefruit person but the Trader Joe's one was seriously just to die for so I'm hoping the peach black tea does not disappoint I got my traditional flowers I've switched it up a few times but you guys my kitchen table is finally done and built you guys will see like us bringing it in and stuff in a future vlog but now this is like a farmhouse dream sorry about the mess you guys but I needed my hydrangea and my ivy to go in my little white pitcher on my farmhouse table. So I got my white hydrangea, I got them as tight as I could so it'll take a little time to open, and I got my eucalyptus that will be perfect with that on my table. So I'm excited to put that together once I'm done filming. I did get the shaved Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese, so so good if you've never tried it. This has become a new staple for us. It's the Trader Joe's Onion Chive Cream Cheese Spread. Need that. It's delicious. And I put it with chicken and it's just, and cheese and bacon and it's really, really yummy. But I have a different idea for that this time. So stay tuned. I will be sharing that as well. And then this is one of their new things that they have going right now. They have halloumi, which is a cheese similar to this and it's grilling cheese. So it's tougher and it doesn't melt the same. So you can put it on the grill and get good char marks and it still gets softer and more pliable to eat, but it's yummy. But now they have this garlic bread cheese, which is similar to halloumi because you need to either, it recommends you microwave it, but I was talking to one of the workers there and they said, nah, you really need to either grill it like they said or put it in the oven and bake it. You can see that it almost looks browned and grilled right now. But I thought, what if I could soften this and make grilled cheese sandwiches with the everything ciabatta rolls. I have a waffle iron where you can flip the inside iron and put the flat grates. And what if you got this to be oozy and you put it in the ciabatta roll and then you put it in that press and you press it down and you make like an everything garlic bread cheese baked deliciousness sandwich. I don't know, I just spawned the thought in the store and I don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna give it a try so I picked that up for that and then I'm hooked on this you guys did it to me I bought the salad with the cheddar in it I didn't know what it was you told me what it was I tried it and now I'm hooked it's the unexpected cheddar cheese is like it's cheddar met parmesan and they had a baby and I absolutely love parmesan cheese like fresh grated and then you just mix that with cheddar and it just who knew who knew uh, you guys so I got the block and then I also got the shredded so just get it if you see it just get it it's it's worth it uh, I did get the Applegate Naturals smoked turkey breast two separate packages I like that they're sealed in like smaller portions because one day we're gonna do turkey clubs at least that's what I had but then I spawned the grilled cheese idea and so now I don't know if everybody will have a turkey club so I like the fact that it's smaller just in case then the other one stays fresh until we can use it uncured beef hot dogs these are so pricey but i am a sabrette girl and i can't get my sabrette anywhere that i've lived in the south so far so this has probably been my favorite hot dog that i've had since i left the sabrette world and it's the all natural uncured beef hot dogs and i love them so i grabbed those for fourth of july and then i got some sliced brujute because we're going to be making penny olive vodka this week i have some all natural boneless skinless chicken breasts come on if you watch you know sorry not chicken breasts chicken thighs and if you watch you know that this is for my husband we will be making mississippi chicken at some point in the next month or so and then lastly i picked up three of these sweet apple chicken sausages a little pricey but i'm gonna use one with this and ribs is like what the plan is for fourth of july and then the other two i'm gonna bring to the lake because i'm gonna bring these and kebabs for the night that we barbecue like that'll be what i bring and this sausage is so good sir excuse me 
<laughs> come on. You done playing with the bags? No. Come on. Come on. Mommy's done now. Get down. Get down. Come on. Good boy. All right, you guys. So that was it for my $180. Now stick around for this week's meal plan. All right, you guys. So here is the meal plan for Monday, June the 28th through Sunday, July 4th. So for yesterday, it was a bump meal. We were supposed to do crunch wrap burgers. I was so excited about doing the crunch wrap Taco Bell concept, but stuffing it with all kinds of burger fillings. And then I went to my deep freezer and I didn't have those big, huge tortillas that I needed, but I did have burger buns. So our crunch wrap burgers just became regular burgers, but they were still super yummy. I had leftover Swiss cheese from making chicken corn on blue so a good swiss cheese burger was absolutely delicious we did it with french fries and i just cut up some veggies so that was really good for yesterday and for today we're doing aztec chicken nachos so this is our little taco tuesday but i love to do uh, this really simple easy crock pot meal and all you do is throw some salsa some chicken broth some corn some black beans and then a couple of pieces of chicken breast and you put it in the crock pot for four hours on high and once the chicken can pull apart you add in a block of cream cheese and then you sprinkle in a little bit of cheddar cheese you can put it on tacos we like to put it on nachos so that's what we're going to have for tonight and then for tomorrow we are going to grill some steaks and then we're going to do corn on the cob and that pasta salad i forgot that i moved things around and i put mac and cheese for fourth of july just to kind of appease my kids and it's just us so it doesn't need to be fancy but i'm excited about tomorrow's steak because the steaks looked really really yummy and i love when my husband grills out a good steak so i'm looking forward to tomorrow but i know that my husband is looking forward to thursday so i'm using those potato sticks that he requested and i'm going to pulverize them in my food processor and then use that as a coating for chicken that i'm going to cook so i'm really excited about it i'm not sure if i'm going to do it in the air fryer yet or bake it in the oven we'll see how it coats up maybe i'll try both and see you know for future reference what works the best but i'll make some cheesy rice and we'll have that with broccoli so thursday's meal sounds yummy and then a friday is penny all vodka which i have a cooking video for so i'll link that if you want to check it out plus penny all vodka is in my first cookbook which both of them are always Always listed in the description box but that is a superb recipe that's what the brujute was for so we'll do that with a salad and then on Saturday we're gonna do soup and turkey club so I made a rotisserie chicken yesterday and I pulled everything apart and we're using the chicken for meal prep this week but I'm gonna use the carcass and whatever leftover pieces and make some chicken soup I have some veggies that I want to use and some leftover broth and so I think that it'll just be good I love to have have like a soup every once in a while because we always have leftovers and then I freeze portions and it's always good to just pull that out for a lunch or quick dinner to do with grilled cheese sandwiches if we don't have something planned and that's when I planned those turkey clubs so maybe we'll do those everything grilled cheese maybe we'll do turkey club sandwiches I'm not sure I'll give everyone a choice because it's not that difficult to pull either one of them together but that's what we're doing Saturday and then Sunday is a fourth of July so we're still not doing anything with anyone so we're just going to keep things a low key here we have hot dogs and the apple sausage which we love and then ribs I had a little bit of a problem with I told you guys in the grocery haul that we were going to do ribs with this but I picked up my Walmart grocery pickup order after I filmed that portion and ribs was my only substitution they did not have any they were trying to give me pork chops so I denied that and now I need to get ribs so I will be doing a Walmart grocery pickup next Sunday, which is 4th of July. So hopefully I can get ribs that day. Otherwise, it's going to just be hot dogs and apple sausage with mac and cheese and watermelon and then the flag cake that I always make. So nothing crazy, but we will still enjoy ourselves nonetheless. But all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this grocery haul and meal plan. Don't forget to pick what you think Daryl's mystery item is in the comments below. Subscribe if you are new. I love you guys all so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.